we had an existing roof here and uh, with the gutter system already in place and the gutter was just draining out onto the hillside and dribbling down the rock walls and um, the homeowner asked me if we could catch the water somehow and of course I do a lot of water harvesting I was like yeah easy enough and so we just we made had made a, um, from a local fabricator but we could also make it ourselves with a metal brake but we just had a little section of gutter made we cut a hole in the existing gutter and riveted tabs on the existing gutter and we installed a 500 gallon uh, plastic tank in the ground we just dug a hole with a, um, a skid steer dropped the tank in it was not it was very light and we uh, just simply just ran the gutter into the tank this is a lid for the tank and it's usually the other way around we just inverted it drilled a bunch of small holes in it to catch large um, silt and debris um, or around pine trees so it catches pine needles and so then basically this is uh, um, just for uh, landscaping needs and so the homeowner wanted to plant um, some trees and some uh, Russian sage on his property and so we just have simply attached in here a submersible pump we have it for now just run to a cord on a timer on an exterior outlet and this hose that runs from the submersible pump is just attached down into the ground to some uh, some drip irrigation lines that the homeowner just installed um, to his trees so now he's got a instead of using his uh, domestic well water for irrigation he now has a uh, water harvesting system to uh, to irrigate with and uh, maybe we can take a quick look at uh, just a drip irrigation line that's simple to install the homeowner uh, did it himself he just went to our local hardware store asked them the basic parts that he needs and and he was able to do it so the hose is just running through the crevices in the rocks here. Um, we tried to obscure it a little bit and it runs along to and trans transitions to the drip irrigation line here just with a typical T. Uh, the lumber yard, the, the hardware store helped him just uh, pick out the parts that he needed. Then you use a 5 8 or 3 quarter inch uh, main line and then each plant you just poke in this little drip tube right here there's a little valve so each plant has one of these little drip lines going to it it's probably I would say probably one gallon per hour I'm not exactly sure and you can see over here this tree has one two little drip lines going right to it right here and oftentimes the color on the end of each uh, drip branch here indicates how many gallons per hour will be dripping. And so he simply just ran his irrigation lines from tree to tree and from plant to plant to plant. And I think uh, he's got his submersible pump just set on a timer for an hour or so every night. And, um, and then he just checks the level of the cistern um, every couple days is to make sure there's water in there and that the uh, submersible pump isn't running dry. We could do more sophisticated systems in that cistern with submersible pumps with float switches but he just wanted something just for uh, summertime use and um, just to uh, you know boost his you know to water his new trees here in his landscaping. So this is our reception cell. It's made out of uh, two by Trex, which is the plastic wood that doesn't rot. Made a little handle here and a little hatch, and we can lift that up, and we can see 